This is a, a early burlet sweet cherry on a Geese Lafive rootstock. The rootstocks, these type of rootstocks, really uh, overflower many varieties, most varieties. So it's very important to come in and, and thin the entire cluster and spur off on anything hanging up straight down. It's okay to let the fruit hang on either side of the branch. You can see in, in here uh, where you're just going to have to come in and thin some of those out. You can see the one-year shoots here. On the one-year wood, we tip it back maybe a third to a half to reduce the flower set because the two-year-old wood flowers on nearly every spur on these rootstocks. And so by pruning the one-year wood back, that's how you control your crop. Uh, and when it's this heavy a blossom, there is no harm in coming in and just cutting through the stems and taking a certain amount of the blossoms off because uh, the fruit size will be small and not that uh, desirable if you overcrop these trees, which as the other point is, you will reduce a crop significantly for next year if you overcrop them. So head the one-year wood back, thin the cherries out, up and down the, the bottom of these stems, and that's a good start for uh, bringing your crop you can balance. see it's in full bloom. You can see that these Geisla rootstocks, this is on Geisla 5, they overcrop and that's one of the big problems. So you're going to take the entire spur off of everything that hangs down and if you look in this one here, we took the spur off a year or two ago. When these blossoms turn into fruit, you get some air space in there and you can see we have that in multiple places. It's typically where where you've cut the one year wood back, right at the base of the one year wood, you are going to get a lot of flower blossoms. And it's very important to thin those areas out in the uh, Puget Sound region or any area that's not in the high desert. Uh, so you get air drainage in there because you can have beautiful fruit on the outsides. And if it's solid fruit in the middle, you'll just find uh, the whole group, the whole crop of cherries in there will be rotted.